Hey yo, he can dish it out, but he just can't take it like a baker who hates cakes but always bakes it. Get it? He can dish it out, but he can't take it. Who am I talking about? None other than uh Coach Greg, Gregory, Greg Doucette. All right, I'm very disappointed in you, man. Hey, man, I didn't know much about the beef between you and Johnny Shreve. I made videos about it from what I knew. You know, it was very one-sided because, okay, you got the right not to talk about your side or his side or what happened. It's your personal business, right? Personal business, right? How many thousands of videos you have made about people's personal business? How many? You can dish it out, but you can't take it when it comes back your way. It's such a problem when somebody says something to you, Greg. You know, um, I'm not one to judge. I'm not going to call you sensitive because, um, you know, it's not my place. Other people have called you sensitive. I've seen comments and things like that, and you, eh. <laughs> but that's not what I'm here for, all right? I'm just saying I'm tired of the BS that's going on in the fitness industry, all right? Especially on YouTube, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, all social medias. It's basically a soap opera, man. There's no fitness involved. There's barely any fitness involved, all right? Everybody at each other's throat. But they act like they want all the smoke, but when the smoke come back to them, they, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm speaking video-wise only. I'm speaking content-wise only, all right? Um, like, I, I ain't here for that either. But at the same time, I'm going to speak on it and I'm going to address it because fitness is something that's near and dear to my heart. You know, I have problems with people all the time talking about things like, you know, gym etiquette, things like that, gym community, things like that, trying to tear down things that I've been talking about for four years, right? So, I mean, I go to the gym solo dolo. Um, I don't own the gym, so I don't own the equipment. I can't tell nobody not to use it. They got the right to be there just like I do, but I got the right to be there, and I got the right to use the equipment, you know? I got the right to use the equipment. I'm a part owner of it. How? Because I pay my membership. So people like Joey Swole and Greg Doucette try to turn out what I'm saying for the last four years, all right? So that ain't what we're talking about. We're talking about the Johnny Shreve thing, all right? So I guess uh, Greg and Allie, you know, salute to Allie, you know, no disrespect. Uh, I don't know why they broke up or whatever. It's none of my business. But that's the point that I'm trying to get at. None of my business. All right. Greg said it's none of the people's business. He's right. But how many things have he talked about? This is the point I'm trying to get to you. How many how many things have he talked about that was none of his business? Hmm? How many times? All right. Like, okay, Natty or not, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We need them sometimes. Sometimes we don't. But when you're making Natty or not about people or... Uh, I'm not a big, huge fan of Cali Muscle, but, you know, when you're making natties and nots about people and they say they don't want you to, you should respect that. You should respect that, all right? If you do it and then the people act like it's cool and they, they never say nothing about it, cool. But when they literally say they don't like it, then it's not cool anymore, bro. Or it can be cool if that's your opinion. You got the right to do what you want to do. But when it comes back to you, why is it a problem? Why is it a problem when people make videos about you, man? Why is it a problem? Shout out to John Bravo. Shout out to uh, Johnny Shreve. Shout out to Chris Jones. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Johnny Shreve, you know, you, you went at it wrong the right on um, the first two. I mean, shout out to Chris Jones. At the end of the day, Chris Jones was right about everything he said, like he said. He was right about everything he said. He has the right to not take nothing back. You know, Greg out there... Stirring up beehives, you know what I'm saying? Greg out there stirring up beehives when the bees sting him, he got a problem. He got a problem. You don't knock on doors that you don't want answered. I don't I would never do that. Not me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just addressing it. I'm just tired of fitness that's near and dear to my heart when I try to teach the nat the natural way, trying to get people. Um, away from all the stuff that a lot of people promote, all right? You know, you got your Sam Sulek and all that. Like, you know, I mean, do what you want to do. It's a personal choice. 
but it's a selfish choice also because you got to think about your loved ones. You got to think about the people you could be putting uh, a burden on that's going to have to wipe your butt when you no longer can. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be taking yourself away from. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to promote a healthier way, all right? So I might not be as big, as swole as some of these guys, but my aesthetics are really good. So at the end of the day, um, I'm 100% natural. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to show youngsters that it can be done. And also people who are older, but especially youngsters, I'm trying to show people that it can be done without the PEDs and the drugs, all right? It can be done without that. Especially the ones that's getting on it as soon as they... And a lot of these guys that I'm speaking on, they do that too. Somewhat. Halfway. They halfway here and they halfway... They halfway... I'm not saying they promoting it. But they seem like they are half of the time. So they halfway saying you shouldn't. And they halfway seem like they say you should. Alright? So... That's all I gotta say, man. Greg Doucette, man. Do better, man. Hey, if you can't take it... Uh, like Joey's, Hey, man. Mind your business, man. Mind your business, bro. If you if you do not want to have people in your business, stay out of other people's business. All right. If uh, uh, I'm not saying everything's for the money, but you know, if your videos weren't doing that good without the drama, yo, just have some patience. All right. I try to keep mine as drama free as possible. There's videos that I've done with people's names in it and this and that and the third. Uh, but I try to keep it as drama free as possible, man. I got uh, how to this, how to that. Not saying that these guys don't, but I'm just saying it's it should be a ratio at the end of the day. I'm not saying don't do any of it. That's just like when I be talking about people talking in the gym. I ain't saying so, don't socialize at all. I'm just saying there needs to be a ratio. Like an 80-20 or something like that. You can... I, I was just in the gym, right? I ain't saying no names. I ain't causing no beef. I don't even know these people, right? They didn't bother me, but I'm just speaking on the facts, right? I didn't film it or anything like that. I didn't post it for social media, nothing like that. But a whole bunch of grown men in the gym. I'm going to say it. A whole bunch of grown men in the gym. A football game was on, right? Couldn't hear sound, nothing. But a whole bunch of people just crowded around, just talking about it. And they kind of in my like way, not in my way directly, but they're like, you know, my attention is going towards them. I'm doing a heavy deadlift. I did it anyway. It didn't stop me. Didn't mess me up much. But it was annoying. But at the end of the day, that's not what I'm speaking on. I'm just saying they're not putting in any work. You know, they got a, if I say an 80-20 ratio, they got a 20% workout and an 80% socialize, which is cool. Like I say, I don't own the gym. I'm a part owner of every gym that I go to because I pay my membership. My membership helps a small percentage of keeping the lights on and keeping the bills paid in there and, and keeping the equipment, uh, um, whatever, buying new equipment, all that. My, my part, I do my part by paying my membership and also by leaving the gym better than I came in. You know, I'm putting the plates away and sometimes I'm putting other people's plates away. I mean, I'm a great uh, guy in the gym. Sometimes I save people, you know, they need a spotter on the bench press. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a great guy in the gym. I just don't like to socialize because I want to get my work in. But for some reason, these people will try to act like that's a crime. You know what I'm saying? Greg even said out of his own mouth, I don't, I'm not even gonna use the scene, but he said out of his own mouth, the girl was like, um, was this two girls in one um one gym, whatever? He said out of his own mouth, she said, uh, can I just work out in peace? Golly, this type of stuff, right? He said, no, you cannot work out in peace. It's a public gym. It don't matter if it's a public gym or not. I should be able to work out in peace. I ain't saying that there, there, there shouldn't be no other people there. I'm not one of the people that, if I'm filming, I'm not one of the people that's going to get mad if somebody walks in my uh, camera space. Now, I do like, okay, I did throw my drink away. But I did have somebody walk right over my drink before. <laughs> like, that's nasty, man. I've had things like that happen to me, man. Had a dude try to shake my hand while I'm bench pressing. Had a dude bump into my bar while I had 300 and something pounds on the bar on the bench press. I've had people try to uh, stand right next to me while I'm deadlifting. And I'm supposed to hold the weight up and not crush your feet. I'm supposed to hold the heaviest weight up that I can possibly to, to save you because your dumb butt 
came up next to me while I'm while I'm deadlifting. Came out of nowhere. Dude came out of nowhere, and his feet was right under my weight. I'm putting it down. He got out the way, but I'm putting it down. I don't care. I'm not gonna injure myself to keep you from getting injured when you in my way. You know, people do crazy horse playing things in the gym. All right, so you gotta watch out for stuff like that. But these guys don't preach that. They don't. They don't teach what's actually going on. You know what I'm saying? These guys forget how they got there. You, you preach and train harder than the last time, but you telling people they socialize and this is great in the gym. No, it's not. Hey, to each his own. There's different types of lifters. Some people, okay, I, I get it. Some people, their fire and energy comes from other people. Some people are different. Some people, our fire comes from the inside. You got to analyze that. All right. If somebody's trying to talk to me, I am not wrong for not talking to that person. I didn't come here for that. I ain't signed up for that. All right. But that's all I got to say, man. Greg, do better, bro. Hey, man, if you can dish it out, you should be able to take it. All right. I don't see anything that I'm, I'm not. I haven't watched every video about Johnny Shreve and uh, Greg Doucet. I've watched Johnny Bravo's. I watched Chris Jones and I watched Greg's latest one. Um, that he finally responded, and I think I watched somebody else. I don't remember. And mine, of course. I made three so far. Um, why did I make three? Because I left things out. This one right here, I'm just saying, man, I'm disappointed, bro. Disappointed, man. Because this is the type of stuff you do. This is the type of stuff you do, Greg. But when it comes back to you, it's a problem. That's all I got to say, man. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Rapid Time Fitness, man. Click the link below to see my way of dieting. Click the link below to see my lone wolf mentality. Um, there's different types of people in the gym. Some people don't want to talk. So if you want us, if you're on this side, if you're a lone wolf, you need to learn, learn the lone wolf mentality. Um, that's all I got to say, man. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Holler back at your boy, man. Peace. No disrespect, though. I ain't got no beef with nobody. No beef at all. I'm just saying I'm pointing out the facts.